All right, here we are in round two. Um, with a keepable hand. All right, uh, we won't mulligan this hand. Oh. Play our forest, and then we'll play a captive. If he flips, we play an equipped torch, I guess. I need to be as like streamlined with my spells as possible, and yeah, it sucks to have to reveal that information that you have a shock on board, but at the same time, landing turn three werewolf, turn four land werewolf um, could be really devastating too. Young Wolf is like incredibly good. It's pretty devastating. Um, not totally devastating, I guess, but in this instance, Wolf Bitten Captive is actually better to me as a 1 1 that I can pay mana to make a 3 3. Until I get the 4 mana. And honestly, I want Lamhole Delta out so that I, when I'm doing it, it's actually worthwhile making the flip, I mean. I can't believe there were two anything wolf decks. Okay, so... You might have the Viper here. We'll see. We'll make him have it, I guess. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, so now we actually have enough to do throw a torch, play Fester Hide Boar, too. could have faked the ranger's guile there, which would have been pretty good. I'm getting in there because, like, if he wants to block this, that's fine. You know, if he doesn't, that's also fine. I'd rather, like, take away the undying now. I think I'm going to end up with the better deal here when it comes to flipping wolves. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have the better deal. Okay, so now I swing all. No block here for him is good. Let's send the old lady at him, see what she does. I 
she can start racing. I've got lethal on board if he blocks wrong, so we'll see what he does. I mean, there's no one red trick that saves him here if he does the wrong thing. At best, he can kill my instigator gang. That's fine. I think he's missing the point. This is totally lethal. Yeah, he totally didn't see it. Alright. Well, that's cool. He's got Immerwolf, and I just don't care about it. I think in this case, Village Ironsmith is good. Um, Knot of the Bone is probably going to be okay, too. Because this is going to just be... War, I don't know that rally. Actually, it's, um, travel prep is maybe better in this one. In this matchup. Um, let's see. I'll take out the grime. I'm gonna put this curse in. Take that out. And I'll take out one Orchard Spirit. We'll see how this one does. creatures, so almost half the deck is creatures. I think I'm going to keep this. Just, Garrick is really good. Yeah. I'm going to keep. I'm going to hold off on playing Caller until, like, I see that he doesn't have a turn two or three werewolf. sucks. <sighs> well, hopefully he wants to pump it and hit us for a bunch, and then I can flip my Garrick next turn. Yeah, hopefully he wants to just bash for five. Or he taps out. But I don't want to put Garrick out there if there's a chance that he does flip into something. Let's see. I guess I could use Garrick here. It depends on how he wants to play this, really. Um, I'll play my Deserter. No. I'll play my Spirit. Um, because it trades with both of them, and I'm not afraid to lose this. And hopefully if he attacks with Deserter and I can block... His flip form is so bad for me right now, because it's like... It's a lightning bolt, and he destroys my collar. 
Okay, I hope he drains it all into that. Ugh, well that sucks. Okay, well, we got Grizzled Outcast at least. Could also do both of those. I could just do Captive and Equip also. I think I'll just do Outcast. And I guess if he doesn't cast a spell, it's not terrible. <laughs> but if he wants to flip that, I guess... I have to think about this. Am I willing to trade my Outcast for that? I'm definitely willing to do it for that. Try this again. That's cool, because it doesn't save him, and I can kill his Ridge Wolf. Because he's got Geist Flame mana up, I'm just I'm not even gonna bother with the captive yet. Um I can produce death touchers. Did he hit it? He hit Garrick with it, so now I am gonna do it. Cause if he wants to tap out to kill Garrick, that's totally cool. Awesome. So we wasted a like really good removal spell on Garrick, and I like two for one him. Totally. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna do this. See if he has another guy's flame. Nope. I'm just gonna prep him now. I don't want him to flip yet, um, because he's human in this form so like I didn't want him to flip on his turn and him be able to kill him as a werewolf he becomes 5-4 Two right now, and it becomes a uh, yeah, it becomes a five five, doesn't it? No, it's only plus two plus two. Okay, so I flip him here and just sit on it now. So I'm much happier with the flashback trade on this now. So hopefully he makes it. Seven 
seven six, I become eight seven. We trade. as a 4-2, but eh, that's no good. So I don't really know if I need the land. I mean, I know I've got the travel prep in my graveyard, but I guess I just don't know. Depends. He's got two cards in hand. Okay. Well, if I pull the land, I guess there's a good chance I draw gas next turn. So I think I will just sack it and get the planes. Then I can at least also uh, put the counter on him, if nothing else. Well, there you go. it is. Alright, I'm just going to play this and equip it to my deserter. Post combat, of course. Get in for six. Oh, he had a fate flower guy. That's why I was worried about his low life. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he's got one, two, th two that has to attack each turn, and clutches doesn't really scare me yet. I think the gang has the better back form. So I'll probably, you know. Well, I'm just gonna move the collar to the gang. I'll move the torch there too. This way I'm even safe from Ambush Viper. No blocks, so possibly death here? Yeah, okay. Alright, that's round two. See you in the finals. <laughs>